Agnes Moorhead was an acclaimed actress known for her unforgettable performance in both film and television. She was a five-time Academy Award nominee, receiving critical acclaim for her roles in classics like Citizen Kane, The Magnificent Ambersons, and All That Heaven Allows. Moorhead also found success on the small screen, earning four Emmy nominations and winning one for her role in the hit series Bewitched. Agnes Moorhead was born in Clinton, Massachusetts on December 6, 1900. She was the eldest of two daughters of John Moorhead, a Presbyterian minister, and Mary Macaulay Moorhead, who was once a professional singer. With a mix of Scottish and Irish ancestry, Agnes was raised in a household that valued the arts. Her mother's love for the performing arts was particularly influential, and it inspired Agnes to pursue a career in acting. Agnes was a natural performer, and she made her debut at the young age of three, singing The Lord is My Shepherd at a church event. From then on, she knew that she wanted to be an actress. However, her father advised her to finish her education first, and she followed his advice. Agnes received her Bachelor of Arts degree from Maskingum College, a religious institution in Ohio founded by her uncle. After teaching public speaking and English at a high school in Soldiers Grove, Wisconsin, Agnes Moorhead made her radio debut as the female tenor on two fledgling stations in St. Louis, Key Service Operator and K Mox. Despite her success on the radio, Agnes had her sights set on a career in acting. In 1927, Agnes moved to New York City and enrolled in the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. She worked as a teacher to support herself while pursuing her dream. Two years later, she graduated and began her acting career. Agnes started small, playing minor roles in productions by the Theater Guild. She appeared in shows like Markle's Millions, Scarlet Pages, All the King's Horses, Soldiers and Women, and Candlelight. Agnes Moorhead had a bright future ahead of her in the world of theater when the Great Depression hit. Like many performers of her time, she turned to radio as a means of making a living. Agnes quickly became a familiar voice on the airwaves, appearing on thousands of shows including The March of Time, The Shadow, and various daytime soap operas. In 1939, Agnes's talent caught the attention of critics when she played Marie Dressler in a dramatized biography of the star on Gavocade of America. Her performance, which showcased her vocal range from youth to old age, received rave reviews, particularly from Variety. It was her performance on the 1938 Mercury Theater of the Year's presentation of War of the Worlds that caught the attention of Orson Welles and John Houseman. Agnes played one of several terrifying women in the background, and her performance left a lasting impression on the directors. Agnes was recruited to join the Mercury Players, and when the group moved to Hollywood in 1940, she went along. Agnes Moorhead's rise to stardom continued when Orson Welles cast her in two of his early films. In 1941, she played Kane's mother in Citizen Kane, and the following year, she portrayed Aunt Fanny in The Magnificent Ambersons, a performance that earned her an Academy Award nomination and the New York Film Critics Award. In 1943, she starred in Sorry, Wrong Number, an episode of the series Suspense, playing a bedridden invalid who overhears a plot on the telephone for her murder. The program became a sensation, with numerous repeats over the next four years, and the recording eventually earned a gold record. Moorhead was passed over for the lead role in the film version, which went to Barbara Stanwyck. Agnes Moorhead had proven herself as a talented supporting actress in numerous movies, earning three additional Academy Award nominations for her performances in Mrs. Parkinson, Johnny Belinda, and Hush Hush, Sweet Charlotte. Despite her success in film, she continued to work in radio, playing Cora Dithers on the popular comedy Blondie and collaborating with Orson Welles on shows such as Ceiling Unlimited and Hello Americans. In 1951, Moorhead joined forces with actors Charles Boyer, Cedric Hardwick, and Charles Lafton as part of the first drama quartet's dramatic reading of Don Juan in Hell, the rarely performed third act of G.B. Shaw's lengthy play Man and Superman. Their unique performance was extremely well received and lasted for three seasons. In addition to her work in the entertainment industry, 
Moorhead put together a one-woman show called The Redhead, which was a collection of readings from various sources, including James Thurber and the Bible. She toured with the show in 1954 and periodically over the next 10 years, and later revised it and toured internationally under the title Come Closer, I'll Give You an Earful. Moorhead's work on television earned her wide recognition for her portrayal of Andorra in the comedy series Bewitched from 1963 to 1971. Although she was nominated for an Emmy Award three times for her role in the popular sitcom, she won the coveted award for a single appearance in an episode of Wild Wild West. Agnes Moorhead was known for her striking red hair and gothic beauty. Despite her success as an actress, she preferred to keep her personal life private. In 1930, she married fellow actor John Griffith Lee, whom she had met while attending the Academy of Dramatic Arts. The couple adopted a son named Sean, but their marriage ended in 1952 and they divorced. The following year, Moorhead married actor Robert Gist. However, their marriage was short-lived and they separated soon after. They remained legally married until their divorce in 1958. She opened her acting school and also lectured on acting at various colleges across the United States. In 1973, Moorhead made her final stage appearance in a revival of Gigi just one year before she passed away. Agnes Moorhead, unfortunately, fell ill during her production of Gypsy and was replaced by Arlene Francis. It was later discovered that she was suffering from terminal cancer, and her friend Debbie Reynolds shared that Agnes believed she would beat it and put herself in God's hands. In early April 1974, Agnes was admitted to the Mayo Clinic Hospital in Rochester, Minnesota, where her health rapidly declined over the next three weeks. Just five days before her passing, she spoke with Debbie Reynolds for the last time, where she finally gave up and said, It's over. I'm dying. Please pray for me. On April 30th, 1974, Agnes Moorhead passed away at the age of 73 in the arms of her mother, Molly. The story of Agnes Moorhead's death is shrouded in mystery. Some believe that the cancer that ultimately claimed her life was a result of her work on the set of John Wayne's 1956 film, The Conqueror. During the filming, much of the crew was likely exposed to radioactive fallout from atmospheric atomic bomb tests that were being conducted at the time in Utah. By 1980, it was reported that 91 members of the film's 220-person crew had either been infected with or had died from some form of cancer. Moorhead, who played a supporting role in the film, was diagnosed with terminal cancer in the early 1970s. While the exact cause of her cancer cannot be definitively confirmed, some have speculated that her time on the set of The Conqueror may have played a role. Goodbye and rest in peace, legend actress Agnes Moorhead.